If you have a leak in your swimming pool, or you think you have a leak in your swimming pool, one of the most important things to pay attention to is the water level. The water level is going to be your key indicator as to what's happening here or what's leaking in specific. And there's a couple of ways that you can utilize the water level to kind of point you in the right direction. And one of the first is the bucket test, which is where you fill a, you know, a bucket full of water and sit that inside of your swimming pool somewhere and match up the water level in the bucket to the water level of the swimming pool. And the reason that you're doing this is you're going to compare these two water levels later and they should remain the same. If one of them evaporates faster, Faster than the other, that indicates that you have a leak because why would they evaporate at a different rate? They're the same water, they're the same water level, they're in the same conditions. They should evaporate at the same rate. And so that's a way that you can use water level as an example. But it goes further than that. There could be ways that you can utilize the water level to point you towards a leak that's not relating to evaporation. For example, you could have a leak in your skimmer. Now, this is one of the first things that you're going to look at. If you have a leak in your pool, like, hey, my water level is going down pretty fast here. What's going on? I often will say, well, kind of let it go. Let's see what happens here. And the, what I'm looking for in that situation is the first, you know, main part of your swimming pool that's going to be affected by a low water level is the skimmer because the water only it needs to go down like three inches and then you're below the mouth of the skimmer. So did your pool stop losing water at that point? Um, you know, it's more complicated than that because you'd have to turn the pump off at that point or you're going to probably run the pump dry unless you have a non-pressurized equalizer on your skimmer. Um, and as you can see already, this is getting a little complicated, but ultimately that water level is a huge indicator here. If the water level gets to the bottom of the skimmer mouth and then stops, well, probably you have a leak in the skimmer line. Well, what if it keeps going further than that? Well, Ideally, in some conditions, you can just let the water level leak and then find out where it stops of its own accord. One example of this would be over the winter season. The pool sits dormant for months at a time, so you take the cover off in the spring and, you know, maybe the water level is normally full to the top with your pool. But this year it's not. Let's say the water level is sitting exactly halfway on the face of the return ports. It's a very conspicuous water level. I mean, of all the places for that water level to stop, it happens to be exactly where the openings for the return ports are. That's a pretty clear indication that you've got a leak in the return line somewhere. And so that's how you utilize water level in a swimming pool to help you find a leak. And even if you're not necessarily able to find the leak yourself, just paying attention to the water level in these different conditions is very important because it can help you, know, you to communicate to somebody like a leak specialist what's happening with your pool. And you would be surprised. That's one of the biggest problems that you have as a leak specialist is just getting accurate information from a customer. You know, it's you'll you'll talk to somebody and say, "Oh, is your pool leaking?" And they're like, "Yeah, my pool loses a foot of water a day." And you're like, "Holy crap, that is a lot of water." And as it turns out, they actually only lose like 2 2 inches of water a day. I mean, it's still a lot of water, but it's not a foot of water a day. So, getting accurate information is very important, and that's something that you can do as the pool owner is pay close attention to your water levels under different conditions. You know, like if you if you notice that your pool loses an inch of water a day, maybe you marked the water level on the skimmer faceplate with a pencil, and you notice that after 24 hours, you lose one inch of water. Well, I mean, first of all, it's just an inch of water, right? Is that a big deal? Well, if you had a 20 by 40 pool, one inch of water is 500 gallons. So you're losing 500 gallons of water a day. That sounds like a problem to me. You know, a quarter inch probably is, is something more reasonable for evaporative loss. So uh, an, an inch of water a day could be a huge amount of water. So you turn off your pump. Now monitor the water level for 24 hours again. Did you lose the same amount of water or did the rate of water loss change? Because again, the water level is going to be an indicator for you as to which direction to look towards. And in addition to skimmers and returns, which are both very common leak points, lights. Lights are a very common one. Did the water level stop more or less at the top of your pool light? That would be an indication to me there's a good chance that the conduit that provides the electrical connection to the back of the, the light niche has broken or is leaking. Uh, you know, there's no guarantees. It's just a starting point. But there's a lot that a water level can tell you. And in some cases... 
the water will drain out of your pool completely, like dry. What the heck is going on here? Well, that's very likely a failure of some kind in the main drain or in the main drain plumbing or in the hydrostatic relief valve that's located in the main drain of some swimming pools. So again, leak levels are very important when you're dealing, or water levels are very important when you're dealing with leaks. Pay close attention to what the water levels are telling you. If you have the opportunity to, without damaging your pool, then allow the pool to find its own water level. At what point does it stop leaking? You know, every pool kind of has a minimum water level that you should maintain for safety, but at the very least, let it drop below the, the skimmer mouth. And, you know, does the water level stop dropping at that point? These are all going to be very important indications for you. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.